We're going to try to work out how to go quicker around the racetrack. Um, there's plenty of different tools out there. Many people run a data logger. The problem is, once you get the data into the logger, it can look a bit like this. This is a race technology one. Um, the very popular one is the AIM Solo. They're all very similar in terms of what they can do. You end up really with this mess of lines and squiggly boxes and all that sort of stuff going on. Now, whilst all the information is here, it can be a bit overwhelming for people. So um, inspired by something that um, I did uh, quite a few years ago for a professional team and um, sparked off by a blog post um, or a post that someone put on Facebook recently, um, I thought I'd take you through a, um, a Google Earth way of visualizing the difference between two laps. Now, what we're gonna do is gonna take these two laps here. So we've got an 18, one minute 18 and a one minute 18.65. Um, these are two laps in qualifying. The 18 actually happened to be a pole lap and the other one was 0.65. Now, when we came out of qualifying, um, the assumption was, because if you look at all the other laps, they're all kind of like in the mid 18s or whatever, late 18s. The assumption was that this one, this 18 here, was a real flyer and um, it's actually mine yet. So we, we actually assumed that, you know, I've got an amazing toe down this back straight and that's where the time was. Um, as we'll see in a minute, it's not quite the case. And so whilst the information is kind of here, the, you know, experimenting with different gears and all sort of stuff, um, what was really fascinating is it's happened, what happens at the end of the lap. Um, and what you'll see um, in a minute is, is this kind of chart here, but visualized in a much more, uh, I think, much more interesting way. So, um, let's let's get into it and i can show you so here you go here's um the data uh from that anglesey um uh, session qualifying session um you can see the, the the line that are taken around the track but you can also see here um the two uh that you know the lap delta in comparison so the start finish line is here and you can see there's not much difference at the beginning and then it sort of gradually go through turn turn one is like there's about a tenth and then into turn two it's sort of pretty consistent although it's you know sort of gaining and losing maybe gaining the braking and losing halfway through um and as we go around but it's a little bit cluttered still with all the numbers around so what i was able to do in google earth is actually to, to make it into a bit of a 3d profile so let's have a look at that My Google flying skills are not very good, so <laughs> apologies, it's a bit jerky. Um, but you get the idea. So you can see here at the end there, that 0.63 is the difference between the two laps and you know zero at the beginning. And so the question really is, where was the difference and by how much? And did I actually gain and lose and all go all the way around? So all the data is here and let's have a look. So you can see like the first corner, it's like, oh, actually interesting. At that first bit so I sort of gained a little bit in under braking but then lost it in, into the turn then gained on the exit come round lost a lot of time notionally I mean we're talking a couple of tenths here on the exit from that uh, fast right hand corner um, if I had got a toe that's where I'd expect a massive step and there isn't any so where's the time so here we go hard on onto the brakes and again lost a couple of tenths under the brakes particularly in that last little section there turn on the turn in so that's an area that i could possibly look at um i've, I've tried a second gear through this that, that sort of um left hand left and right hand corner and it is quicker but yeah but, but maybe not as well overall you sort of you're pretty neutral so that might be interesting for, for when we were in the race, but for qualifying, it didn't really help. But here is where all the time really came. And it's really in the last section here, you can see under braking uh, for the left, then into the right and then into the left again. But it's really this left and right, um, which if anyone, if you've been to Anglesey, it sort of goes right to the downhill into a corkscrew. Um, and in this particular lap, I think I just slowed down a bit less. And, um, but it didn't feel that much quicker, but if you look at the time, I mean, that's half a second basically in two corners. Um, and, and that got me the pole. So 
there we go. So that's something I just thought it'd be interesting. It's an interesting way of visualizing the data slightly differently. Um, and um, yeah, if you want to know how to do it, just check out the blog.